Dead Matter is a true sandbox survival horror game. You will fight to survive in a zombie-packed, post-apocalyptic world designed from the bottom up to foster whichever playstyle suits you best. Home to many threats, post-apocalyptic Alberta will throw everything it can at you. From hordes of flesh-crazed undead, to AI trying to make their way through the world, and of course, other players that are doing what they can to survive. Though above all else, mistakes are killer. Plan accordingly. Our massive world is based on Alberta, Canada, and it is designed to deliver an immersive world that is packed full of landmarks begging to be explored. We've developed a huge variety of procedural generation tools with artist control in mind. These tools allow our very small team of artists to deliver a large, detailed, and immersive world. All of the tools we are currently showing will be available to the modding community. In addition to procedural generation tools that we created, we also created a metagame system that helps us keep our massive 400 kilometers squared world fresh and interesting. The metagame manages the loot economy, the electricity and water flowing through the map, trees that have been chopped down, potential sources of contamination for resources, as well as the weather, including a season cycle. AI and zombie movement are also tracked via the meta game and can trigger events especially if there's a large group or horde present. These events can be interacted with and will result in potential rewards or penalties depending on your actions. Our largest design goal is replayability. Experienced players, especially those that enjoy the PvE and cooperative elements of our game, will find every session to be different from the last. This is important because we want to play our game too. There is also a variety of buildings that you can choose to reclaim in order to aid your long-term survival. This quiet, unassuming suburban home is our first example of a building that you can reclaim that yes, you can move furniture around, you can place lights, lanterns, generators, anything, even barricade your own windows the way that you want. It is your house. Though, no matter where you decide to stay, you'll be responsible for getting the power back up, getting some water barrels, as well as maybe setting up some furniture. Another option to choose from is a loot-filled industrial warehouse. This is for players that like to customize their gear, as well as build things. If you're more of a fan of driving things, then the gas station and auto repair shop is more for you. Like the vehicles you were looking at right now, all weapons in our game are customizable. Currently we have over 50 unique melee weapons and counting in our game. This does not include any reskins or lazy edits of existing models. Every weapon will also be modifiable. The baseball bat and the machete are the best examples of where we would like to take this concept. We need your help to get a polished, playable alpha version of our game onto Steam within the next six months. We will need to be able to hire essential personnel to work full time until we hit our planned release date. And with your help, we can make it happen. Please check out our backer rewards as we have plenty of options available such as a park bench, a road, or even an entire town being named after you for your contribution. All backers will also receive a mention in the game credits. We take your support and voice seriously, so drop any suggestions, ideas, or thoughts you might have on our forums or social media, where we plan to communicate development progress including vlogs, screenshots, and community QA sessions. Help us help you answer the age-old question of what would I do in a zombie apocalypse? Thank you. 